So we did talk about how to find out what is divine, what is good for you, and um, at the same time you said you said you, you made the example that if somebody has a harmonic family life, then he's already on a good track. But this can also change sometimes, and um, I can tell from me also you can tell that we not always had a good family. Uh, we had some suffering. And um, somebody wrote here, you did not tell who, uh, learn to suffer or get to know suffering and you will uh, see what real joy is. And learn to overcome suffering and you will gain joy. So, um, actually, the most people they think, okay, I get some medicine into, uh, at the pharmacy and uh, then I don't have pain anymore, so I have joy and I'm happy. Is this not true? What's your opinion about this? Well, my opinion is that pain has a reason. The pain tells me that something is wrong, either in my body or in my my spiritual direction or my daily life. This can be very simple things as for example you have a lung problem you can hardly breathe and then it could be a bacterial or interesting enough it could be just bad air in your home. So it can be very simple things. On the other side as we all know life is very complicated that me and it has to be complicated because if it's not complicated it would just be boring that means life always gives us new challenges and this keeps us trying and this keeps us searching for new solutions and this is really what makes life worth it i think so suffering and pain is like a um, a direction. It shows you that something in your life is wrong. You can now either run away and take a painkiller or you can just say okay let me have a look why I have this pain and let me try either if I have to regulate something in my outer life or my nurture or if I have to change my behavior my daily life activities, whatever. So I am not, I am not really suggesting to take painkillers. I'm 51 very soon. I've never taken a single pill of painkiller in my life. Even though I have been suffering dramatically and very, very painfully sometimes for almost a year, twice in my life. But I can assure you that, first of all, the outcome of this suffering was a total relief of my problem as well as a relief of the at this word was connected with some weakness in my soul structure so due to this heavy suffering my soul became stronger to overcome certain issues I was taught in patience perseverance and I always strive for truth. That means I want to know the reason behind the suffering. And if you just escape from it, you just escape from the truth of yourself. So, but I, don't misunderstand me here please, because I don't recommend everybody to do that. It's just the way I, I, you, I treat myself. I don't run away if there is a pain, but I use certain um, food supplements to strengthen, strengthen my joints and my back. I use other remedies to avoid, to avoid pain in the future which might come. And, and as you said, you, you don't have the opinion that everybody has to live the same pain, like to avoid, uh, to avoid um, uh, pills or whatever that reduce the suffering, because you offer actually this. What's the reason for this? Could it be that sometimes the people, they, they need to harmonize the physical body in order to make a development in the, on the spiritual level? 
Exactly. I have a, I have a, uh, several good examples for this, but one thing is for sure, I'm always saying that there is a necessary suffering or a necessary pain and there is an unnecessary pain. In the sense, if you are too stupid to drink enough water per day and you will have a, <laughs> and you will have a kidney damage, then it's just unnecessary because it's just stupidity. But if you are influenced by certain things which you cannot obviously see, I can help you seeing it and then you can, you can avoid if you, want, if you want these things and then you will have a better life. So what, what happens if somebody calls you or sends you an email or puts a response on YouTube? Uh, what is the process? What are you going through then with these people? Uh, what's your consulting? How does this work? In general, many people contacting me, they have serious trouble. They are either... Yesterday I had a person, she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. I don't have the feedback yet, but I'm pretty sure she will be healthy very soon. I have other people having severe damage either in their joints or in their back. If it's a simple thing like on a body level, like a joint problem or what could it be, allergies, then I would just recommend some products. If the allergy is caused by the fungus, or some parasites. We can we can just talk about parasites and fungus now a little bit because it's a very important issue in these days. Many people eat the wrong thing, then they travel all over the world, they catch up parasites, they don't realize it, they carry these these parasites for years, even sometimes for decades. And then they one of the, one uh, one day they have really serious trouble. They have allergies, multiple allergies. They cannot digest food properly, they are they have lack of energy, they have headache, they have rashes all over the body. So in these cases, if anybody sends me either an email, contact by Skype or on a YouTube leaving a message, then I can just use the pendulum and I can tell the person on spot in a second, no not in a second, but within 10 seconds, this is the point, treat it. You, you will have relief. So you have you use your pendulum, you have a chart and it says fungus, it says this problem, this problem, this problem and then the pendulum does like this and then you tell this to the person. This is your reading. Right. You have several charts which you collected and the, the charts they also have to be truth, divine, in your truth because there are different charts. This is how it works. So, so this is what makes your channel, I would say, like this right now, um, that effective. Is this right? That's right. I had a, I can tell you recently a person from, oh, we had your friend in Bangkok. He has a uh, Morbus Crohn, right? It's according to the, to the doctrine, it's incurable disease, Morbus Crohn. He contacted me on Skype. I tested him on, I tested him on Skype. And <laughs> You, you, you visited him? Yeah. Right? How is he? I don't know yet, but I always heard that uh, he's good, better. Yes, yes. Exactly. He, within a few days, he told me that it's a lot better. The reason for this is just he was taking wrong, wrong food, really. That was the only, he was drinking coffee and other stuff. And I told him, just avoid this and your problem, your problem will disappear. And this is what he told me after a few days. Then uh, several weeks later, her... His mother contacted me and also through Skype and I recommended her some products. She had a severe cancer and after four days, first of all she had to struggle with her relatives because her relatives wanted to push her into the chemotherapy direction. By discussing with her she was convinced that she wanted to avoid chemotherapy and she wanted to do what I recommended her and four days later, you can read it on the Skype, uh, she felt very good, so a, a very quick response. Another thing is we should, we should uh, not forget, people who come to me, they come by their own free will. And it's not like going to a doctor with a notebook and then he will tell you, come again in 10 days or 15 days, uh, I have to check it, check it up. I, I tell to the people, Please call me in two weeks, but I cannot afford